all right i'm back for probably the last gameplay of this i think um my last game crashed or my or at the end of my last gameplay the, the game crashed so i have no idea where this is gonna put me i don't know i've cheated death many times got right up close to it it was never something i welcomed but with it comes serenity a clarity that you'd never expect you experience the present as the inevitable destination blah 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 okay put me at, at the all right thank god i was like god is it gonna make me play that whole level again i wouldn't have done it Stay with me. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. It's not much further. Don't stop. Don't. Come on. Mm. Cormac! So what now? Now we finish this thing. We're the only ones who can stop our hands from launching Manticore. It's three of us. Against an army. It's suicide. You're right. But it's what he would have done. You got any ideas? Just one. I was just thinking, I'm like, well, hopefully I got one of them power suit things. Right. It was a plan only Gideon could have come up with. A frontal assault on Iron Stronghold using the two mech suits we found back at the base. Drones would fly us in. After that, we'd be on our own. Sentinel 2-1, we're detecting high levels of contamination in the city. We will not be able to get ground forces to assist you. Over. Copy that, Kingpin. Enemy forces are closing on your position. I see him. Mitchell, weapons free. Good thing these suits are so overpowered. Holy shit, man. I'm just like killing a whole army of friggin' dudes. Uh oh. Breach point is up ahead. Let's move. Getting some. Thermal readings 
are spiking inside the command center. They're going to launch soon. We'll make it. In some Bioshock vibes, like I'm in a big daddy suit. Mostly because I'm underwater in a suit. Doesn't take much to get a comparison. That's a cool Mitchell, series, man. Like, I hope it comes back. The whole sh uh, shock series, I guess. Or Bioshock, I guess. There's supposed to be a, a remake of the first game. Right next to the launch pad. Security breach in the silo. All units converge on sector four immediately. Swarm missiles ready. Rocket ready. Oh. Main gun ready. Oh, good. Unauthorized personnel Contact. in sector four. Repeat. Unauthorized personnel in sector four. You bro, it says follow, All right? Launch in T minus four minutes. One missile is ready. Cargo loading in progress. Swarm missile is ready. Good for me, bro. Ready. Ready. 
Rifles ready. Rocket ready. Missile's ready. It says checkpoint. There's an access point to the assault fence up ahead. I'm sending you the position. Got it. Keep pushing, pushing forward. Minutes. Huh, I like the lighting in this tunnel. Stage three boosters check complete. I mean, these suits ain't like in clothes, I don't think. Mitchell, hang on. We stopped it. We stopped the launch. I'm gonna get you out of here. Stay with me. <clears throat> Hit the broad side of a barn. Bash the stampede, I am not. No, apparently there's a new Trigun anime. I, I saw a clip from it on, on uh, TikTok or something. Gotta keep moving. Stay with me. How come I'm so fucked up and this dude's like good to go? Sentinel 2-1. City defenses are breaking. Atlas troops are collapsing. We need to know the status of that launch. Copy that, Kingpin. The launch has been aborted. Repeat, launch is aborted. You copy. Kingpin, come in. Ilona, are you receiving? Damn it. Cut off. We need to move. They're gonna
gonna hit this building any minute. I'm setting you down. I need you to try and walk, Mitchell. I need to find some light. Hello, Mitchell. Don't you fucking move. I could ask the same of you. He's hacking into our exos! Come out of ammo! You rely too much on those things. The city is falling, it's over! What I have started won't end with me. It's bigger than me, and it's certainly bigger than you! You think I'm a monster? That's only because you don't have the conviction to do what's necessary. Necessary? The attack on America? Unleashing Manticore? Killing thousands of innocent people? I'm saving the world from itself. When there's no one left to challenge Atlas, there will be no more wars. There had to be sacrifices along the way. Yeah, twisted fucks throughout history have used the same argument. I don't know who stopped the launch. They'll bring this entire building down on top of you. I could have killed you in the prison camp. I could kill you now. But I won't. I'm not a monster. Try to hit the release on your exo. Now mine. It's not working. There's no time. If he gets away, this will all have been for nothing. Go. No! On it. Uh, Don't let Irons get away! What do I do? I don't know where to go. Oh, where do you go? <laughs> uh. Don't let Irons get away! I okay. I seriously don't know where to go. <laughs> All right, come on, Kinzo, come on. Don't let Irons get away. Is he back this way? He's definitely not this way. Or oh, it's the stairs. I'm stupid. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's just because it starts you right here, so you would think. Don't let Irons get away. All right, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm dumb. Sometimes. I hit C, it didn't slide. The fuck? Oh man. All right. Come on, Kenzo. Come on, buddy. I know you're bad at video games, but come on, come on. We, we're gonna get through this together. Alright. That went according to plan. What is happening? Don't let Irons get away. What was I supposed to do? I, I, I hit melee. I did. I, I pushed all the buttons. Why am I sucking so much at this? 
jump. Pull me up. I'm not letting go. You've got to pull me up. Mitchell, there's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Oh, I didn't see the button prong. Mitchell, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell, I gave you that arm. Mitchell, I gave you a second chance. Well, I sure gave him a hand. Ha. I've got you, mate. I've got you. There's only gonna end one way for it. Irons gave me a second chance. And I gave it back. He thought he could solve the world's problems. If he did have the answer, he took it with him to the grave. But he was right about one thing. This wasn't the end. It was just the beginning. Um, did you know that, uh, Gatorade, the little Gatorade bottles have 140 calories in them? I didn't know that. I was, like, looking at this Gatorade bottle, like, because he was playing, and I was like, oh, how many calories does this have? Because I, I always kind of thought Gatorades were healthy for you, but fuck, man, 140 calories. I think a can of Coke is about that much. No, because I think a can of Coke's, like, no, I think it is about that much, so a bottle of Gatorade is the same calories as a fucking can of Coke. Uh, I've been deceived all my life. All right, anyway, um... What do I think of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Um, well, excluding the technical problems I have with the game, getting it running and stopping the stuttering and... I oh mean, this game crashed a lot. This is actually the, the worst optimized PC game or PC version of Call of Duty I've, I've played so far. And I've played a lot of fucking Call of Duty games so far. Um, so... You know, I, I'm not gonna dock it for that because that's I think exclusive. Maybe it's my computer. You know, I I, I couldn't say. I don't think it is. That's all a little post about similar poems. Um, but as far as the game itself, um, it's cool. I mean, I like it. I I, I, I don't know. I, I I'm usually a sucker for anything set in the future and stuff like that. But I, I kind of feel like Black Ops. Uh, what was it? Two. Um, did a bit, or was it Ghost? Yeah, no, it was, uh, it was 2, Black Ops 2. Anyway, I thought Black Ops 2 bit, uh, did, like, a more compelling kind of future scenario than, like, this one. Um, but I like this game. It's, it's cool. I mean, I, I like the gadgets and the toys and the, the, the fact you can cycle through different kind of grenades. It's, uh, you know, at will is neat. Um, the guns are neat. The sights are neat. It just has neat stuff. Um... You know the story was no well, it, it it was the story i mean it wasn't super amazing but it, it was all right um the fact kevin spacey was the bad guy was kind of cool but i think that was kind of back at the peak of kevin spacey's popularity before he was ousted to be a a creeper i don't remember what he did though i know he did something and then he got cancel cultured and then thus he was canceled out of house of cards and i quit watching house of cards because Kevin Spacey was the best thing about House of Cards. Um, I love that show. And then, like, I guess he got written off of it. And I was like, well, that show's dead to me. So I've never finished it. Um, I guess the wife was, like, the one that finished the show. But I was like, no. Like, we're all here for Kevin Spacey. You took that away. We don't care. Um, this, this wasn't the last Call of Duty game I played, though. And I know that because I remember the last Call of Duty game I played. I specifically remember a set piece on, like, a moon base or a Mars base or some shit like that. And since I didn't see that in this game, I'm like, okay, so that means there's like, I, I think it's 
Infinite Warfare is the last one I played because it just has like a futuristic sounding title. But God, like the next game is Black Ops 3. I don't remember Black Ops 3 at all. I have zero memory of that game. And like my memory of Infinite Warfare is, is the moon base or space base or well, well, whatever it is that I remember. You know, Black Ops 3, which is the next game. Whew, couldn't tell you. I don't know. Um, I am closing in on you know the current call of duty games because you know this game was 2014 so i'm at least still with even though like we're in 2023 now i'm at least within like you know the last 10 years so i'm making progress um of finishing this damn gameplay series there's just so many fucking call of duty games like good god like i knew getting into this it was gonna take me a long time to, to burn through these games but fuck hell man i just i, I just guess i wasn't prepared i had to pause the series for a while because i didn't own them all and I'll be damned if I paid full, you know, not full price, but th these games still retail for like 40 bucks on Steam. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm not paying 40 bucks for an old PC, especially 40 bucks for this game, the way it crashes and shit. Hell no, like this would be like a $2 fucking purchase for me. Um, I, I, I wonder what the multiplayer was like in this game. Cause it had all the, you know, the uh, double jumping and the, and the dashing and all that oh i bet the core call of duty nerds hated this game when it came out i can only imagine this just the ocean of tears they cried over uh, i don't like all the the dashing and i don't like uh, uh, uh. I, I think this was when also like the first titanfall game came out because that's where titanfall came out and kind of popularized the whole um uh what's that called not, not mantling what what's the word oh um parkouring and shit like that like it made in parkouring popular i love Titan, uh, titanfall i wish i could do a gameplay of the first game but y you really can't because nine times out of ten the servers don't work i you know and i kicked myself because it's probably about a year ago now i loaded up titanfall and i actually got into a match and i played it for about 30 minutes and i had a great time and after i got done playing and i was like about to go to bed i was like oh my god i should have recorded that fucking gameplay it just it didn't occur to me you know and you know what sucks about titanfall 2 is the the single player well, th there is no single player but it had like a story ish kind of mode um and it was just like these select multiplayer maps and um man i wish i would have recorded me playing that because there's no way to, to play them now because the game's dead um but anyway i'm talking about a completely different game series now um i am for sure looking forward to getting past this game series not that i have you know i know a lot of people have a lot of problems with with the call of duty franchise so they'll talk about like it's a rip off it's a scam it comes out every year and it's the same thing and like it's it's not it's different to some degree but i mean i do see the argument i don't strictly speaking think you feeling that way is wrong i, I don't but i mean they do change the games up every time like every game i play i mean i can sit there and tell you like what's different about it um this one was the most different so far out of all of them um i i just think it's cool that they've come out with a new call of duty every single i mean to me that's impressive as as someone that you know i i don't make games and i don't know exactly what all goes into creating a video game but to think that they're constantly constantly working on a call of duty game like right now I, I bet right now they're two games ahead. Like they're probably working on, you know, a game that's going to come out in 2024 right now. Who knows, you know? And I, and, I, and I really wonder that from like their dev cycle stuff. Like I wonder how far out are they planning these games? You know, are, are they actually three games ahead? Probably not, but I don't know. Who, who knows? It does kind of stink that at some point it's going to go back to like the, um, world war ii setting which and, and i actually i actually think there's two games that are world war ii actually hold on i, I got this list right here hold on, let's see yeah so the next game is black ops 3 so that's 2015 and then it goes uh infinite warfare which i think is the last one i played because it, it just sounds futuristic so there must be there must be a moon base <laughs> somewhere in that game but then the game after that's world war ii and i think that's what made me stop playing the call of duty games because i was up to date when infinite warfare came out it, it if i remember right and then they went back to world war ii because I, I i think there was two things that happened 
I think they released the World War II game, and I swear Battlefield did the same thing, but it was like World War One, and I was like, I don't give a fuck about World War One. Like, nobody cares. Um, even though I hear it was a fantastic game, but I, I, I wouldn't know. I never played it because I just looked at it and I was like, no, it looks, it looks boring. No thanks. I saw a motherfucker on a horse, and I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, there's old Kevin. Man, I like wonder how much money they had, like, had to pay to get Kevin Spacey to do it, you know? Oh, uh, I, I guess I can keep all my upgrades. That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, okay. Alright, so, oh, that's it? Well, there is zombies. I'm not going to do that. But, you know, a lot of times they like, would throw you into something at the end. You know, the last game that did something kind of interesting like that was, uh, I think it was Modern Warfare 2, actually. I think that was the last game that did something kind of unique at the end. Um, though the um, the little rock thing in Ghost was cool. I actually liked that quite a bit. Well, shit. I, I'm done with Advanced Warfare. So um, now I got to sit down and edit. Like, I don't know. Hang on. Let me look real quick. Oh, I don't want to look. It's going to scare me. Oh god, it's like 14 gameplays. I'm gonna sit down and edit. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. You know what's funny? Um, I'll say this and then I'll go. Um, I started playing. Uh, um, and I can't remember the exact name of the the, the game, but it was that old two two D Legacy of Kane game. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the game, but it's kind of like that like Zelda ish kind of like vampire game where you play as Kane. And like, I like the game, but I also kind of hate the game. And, and like, I have probably like six gameplays like saved on my hard drive that I don't know if they're ever going to see the light of day because I don't want to finish the game. But in my mind, I was like, oh, I'm going to play that game and finish it. And then I'll go play, you know, Soul Reaver and all those games. But I couldn't even get past that game. And I was like, uh, I can't. it was just like a game that every time I sat down to play it, I didn't want to do it. Like, I, I dread, oh, I don't want to get up and go in the room. I don't want to, like, turn that game on. And then I started doing the gameplay, and I'd stop. And I'd have a YouTube video on my other screen kind of cheating, telling me what to do, just because I just didn't give a fuck about playing the game. And it's not a bad game at all. I actually I actually think it's, it's made very well, but I just... Something about it just wasn't, wasn't driving with your boy. And now it's been so long since I played it, I don't fucking know where I am in the game, but... Anyway, now I'm just talking to myself as I tend to do at the end of these games. So uh, next gameplay, uh, whenever I post it, is uh, the Black Ops 3. And we'll continue in this Call of Duty a thon. Throw me a like, throw me a comment, all, all that bullshit. Uh, if you made it this far, tell me I'm terrible. I should stop YouTube. That would be wonderful. Just comment. Suck. Great. I'm out. And I will see you when I see.